Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll explore two essential tools in Excel that make it easy to organize and search your data, sorting and filtering. Whether you're working with small data sets or large spreadsheets, these features will help you find the information you need quickly and efficiently. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to sort data alphabetically, numerically, and apply filters to find exactly what you're looking for. Let's get started. Sorting data in Excel is one of the simplest ways to organize information. You can sort data alphabetically, numerically, or even by date. Here I have a list of products, their categories, prices, units sold, and revenue. Sorting this data makes it easier to analyze. For example, if you want to see the products from the highest to the lowest revenue, you can use Excel's built-in sorting feature. Let's start with sorting data alphabetically. If you want to arrange this product list in alphabetical order, it's just a few clicks away. First, select the column you want to sort. Here, I'm selecting the product name column. Next, go to the data tab at the top of your screen and click on either sort A to Z or sort Z to A, depending on whether you want ascending or descending order. Just like that, the entire list is now sorted alphabetically. Excel automatically rearranges the corresponding data in other columns, so you don't have to worry about mismatched rows. Now let's move on to sorting data numerically. Let's say you want to arrange the products from the lowest price to the highest. Here's how you can do that. Again, select the column you want to sort. This time, I'm selecting the price column under the data tab click on sort smallest to largest to sort the prices in ascending order. If you want the highest prices to appear first, you would click on sort largest to smallest. As you can see, the entire table updates accordingly with the lowest priced items now at the top and the highest at the bottom. What if you want to sort by more than one column at a time? For example, you might want to organize your data first by category and then by revenue within each category. You can do this by using a custom sort. First, go to the Data tab and click on the Sort button. In the Sort dialog box, add your sorting criteria. Let's start by sorting the data by category. Next, we'll add a second level by clicking Add Level. This time, let's sort by revenue so that within each category, the products are sorted from highest to lowest revenue. Once you click OK, Excel applies both sorting rules. Now the products are grouped by category, and within each category, they're sorted by revenue. Now that we've covered sorting, let's take a look at filtering. Filtering allows you to hide irrelevant data and focus only on what you need. To apply filters, select any cell in your data set, go to the Data tab, and click on the Filter button. You'll notice small drop-down arrows appear in the header of each column. These drop-downs allow you to filter the data based on specific criteria. Let's start by filtering the product list to show only items in a particular category. Click on the drop-down arrow in the Category column. Now I'm selecting the Electronics category. Excel instantly hides everything except the products in that category. Filters make it easy to narrow down your data when you're working with large data sets. Filtering is also useful for numbers. Let's say you only want to see products with revenue greater than $20,000. Here's how you can apply a number filter. Click the drop-down arrow in the Revenue column Hover over Number Filters and choose Greater Than. Now, enter 20,000 and click OK. Excel will filter the list to show only the products with revenue above that threshold. As you can see, all products with less than $20,000 in revenue have been hidden, leaving only the high-performing items. You can also apply filters to text. For example, if you're looking for products that contain a specific word in their name, you can use a text filter. Click the drop-down arrow in the Product Name column Hover over Text Filters and choose Contains. Let's say we want to find all products that contain the word Product A, for example. Type Product A into the box and click OK. Now, only the products with Product A in the name are visible. This is an efficient way to search through large lists of text data. Once you're done with filtering, you can easily clear all filters to return to the full data set. Just go to the Data tab and click Clear. Similarly, if you want to remove any sorting rules you've applied, you can simply go to the Sort button and select Clear Sort from the drop-down menu. Your data will go back to its original order, giving you a fresh start. And that's it for today's video. Now you know how to sort your data alphabetically, numerically, and by custom criteria, as well as how to use filters to quickly find the information you need. These tools are essential for managing large data sets and keeping your work organized in Excel. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up 
and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments what other Excel features you'd like to learn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.